Okay, this is probably going to shake and I'm really sorry if it does. I'm holding it because I can't find a good angle and I guess we're just going to vlog. Um, so basically, I saw a TikTok the other day. I'll play it here. So people always make comments like that's going to be hell to clean out or all this for like an hour bath, like not worth the effort and time. Like to who though? Not worth it to you, but this is my bath. That takes all of 10 seconds to clean out afterwards. Like, I find it so strange that people are so upset by my bath. Something that's not important to you doesn't mean it's not important for everybody else. I do this for my mental, emotional, and physical health, so it's important to me. And basically, um, I wanted to give this a go. I've seen all these beautiful looking baths and I did a bit more research into it and I found out that they, I think they're called ritual baths. Hi, uh, it's Future Shani here. I'm just editing this video and I want to pop in and say that I don't think that what I've done in this video is a ritual bath. There's a lot more things that go towards a ritual bath, um, like smudging. Uh, I've seen things about lunar phases and uh, different baths for different aura colors. I don't know too much about these things and I don't want to disrespect anyone or, or make any mistakes in terms of those things. So I'm not going to call what I did today a ritual bath. Um, that is definitely something I want to look into in the future. But for now, I'm going to say that that wasn't a ritual bath that I did today in this video. I think this was more of like a, a healing sort of self-care bath. It was kind of a bath, but on like the next level. It, I don't, yeah, I don't think it was a ritual bath. I just want to clear that before I keep going. Anyway, back to the video and basically they're really good for uh moisturizing they're very good for like reducing pore size redness pain stress and i want to give that a go because i have a lot of those things uh, i just got back from gym you can see i'm in my gym clothes and i am ready to just chill a bit um i sat an exam yesterday so i am feeling like I could do with a bit of stress and pain relief right now. Um, so yeah, basically, um, I bought all of this stuff and basically we're going to see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work after one bath, um, but I figure I'll give it a go. So let's go. So basically I did a bit of research into these ritual baths and uh, they have uh, things like citrus, Epsom salts, coconut milk. Um, they also have like dried flowers. I couldn't find any dried flowers but I did get the rest. So yeah, I'm gonna cut up some citrus. I, I got a few things. I got like an orange, some grapefruit, some lemon but I don't think I want to use all of them. I might just use like the grapefruit and the lemon maybe and see how that goes because I have a pretty decent sized bathtub. But I've also got coconut milk and I've got Epsom salts because that'll help with pain relief and moisturizing. Um, I can't remember what the citrus helps with. I'll put it up here somewhere. But um, yeah, let's cut this up and go have a bath. <laughs> I guess I want like thick slices. I guess thick slices, let's do that. Oh, there's juice everywhere. I have 
forgot to take the stickers off. Oh no. Citrus is done. I've got my coconut milk. Got my coconut milk, got my citrus. And yeah, let's go upstairs and see how this goes. And welcome to my bathroom. Okay, so there's my bar. Oh, the lighting in here is shit. I also bought some candles because why not? So I'm probably gonna pop those around the bathroom um, while the water's running. Probably gonna put on some Netflix and just chill out for a bit while I have the bath and see how I go. I'm not, by the way, just before we get into this, I'm not filming the bath. <laughs> I'm not filming myself having a bath. Please don't think that I am. That would be really weird. But yeah, I'll show you how I set up the bath and um, I guess do a little time lapse and then we'll see if there are any results. Um, and if I like it, I might do more of them and see maybe long-term effects. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Enjoy this time-lapse of me setting up my bath. So, this is probably gonna move a lot again. 
I did it. I had my bath. Oh my goodness. Um, final thoughts. Uh, I did not... Alright, let me... I need to talk on my hands here. Hold on. I didn't expect it to be different. I didn't actually expect it to be any different from a normal bath, but I felt like it was. I think putting the effort and the time into thinking about what my body needed in terms of like pain relief, did I need moisturizing, did I need just what benefits did my body need, that I feel like putting that effort in and taking the time to like you know cut up the citrus and adding in the milk and lighting the candles I think it genuinely felt like a form of self-care and I think that that is what it is for a lot of people and I've never delved into it before but I loved it my skin already feels so much softer and that was just after one bath like I can notice a difference but oh my goodness like that's gonna be a thing for me I think that that is genuinely something I want to keep doing I feel really relaxed, I feel really calm, I feel really just, I just feel really good. <laughs> and I genuinely, I didn't think it was going to be any different compared to a normal bath, but um, if you're thinking about doing this, I would genuinely suggest giving it a go. Do your own research, look into it a bit more for yourself. Um, I think the only concern that I had that I only thought about while I was doing this video was um, the possibility of getting a UTI um, from... The different things adding into the bath I don't know what that risk is um, and I didn't look into balancing pH so if you're gonna do this maybe look into balancing pH maybe look into you know what can combine together to a help you but also to protect you from anything like that happening um, but other than that my god uh, yeah that is definitely something that I'm gonna be doing in the future um, I hope you guys like this video I this was something a bit different. I have, I've been doing a lot of Twitch videos lately, so it feels really cool to actually be doing um, a YouTube video that is in person, I guess. I don't know how to word it, but I'm really happy to uh, have this platform just to be able to do things that I enjoy as creative. I told you, this, this channel is just things I enjoy. Um, if you haven't already, go check out my Twitch. We do have a Twitch channel. Well, by the time I release this, it'll be probably less than a week, but... Uh, next week is my one year anniversary on Twitch. Oh my god. We are currently up to 3,350 followers and I'm so grateful for everyone who is here and supporting me. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, if you want to hang out, come say hi. We do a lot of really cool, just relaxing, chill streams. Um, yeah, if you want to come and say hi, feel free. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you next time.